You know, there's a great part of me that really wants to stop time, power slash this bird on my face, um, redirect the wind, make it rain, set myself on fire. This ain't Okami. This is Mario Odyssey, and welcome back to some more of Super Mario Odyssey. I tried linking that together, but I kind of failed. Mean words are hard. Last time, we met with the Ruined Dragon in the Ruined Kingdom, and this time, we are making our assault through Bowser's Castle even more. Here at the Shop Island. Now, I guess before we get started, what I want to do is hop up to the top. For some pretty well hit coins here on top of the, uh, location. So, grabbing ourselves the, uh, thing there. We're gonna head into the shop. And, inside here. Welcome. Alright, nothing new here. I'll grab my moon and go. Because I don't want to repeat it last time. Yeah. And on the other side. Oh, that's really cool. You can see the uh, paper lanterns. And you can also see the Jinzos. So I guess going on forward, we got Jinzos. I want to buy these first and foremost. I'll save the rest of them for later. Samurai is more pressing right now. So, when you know it, more trivia. And that involves the Samurai outfit, which is really interesting. In that... This was originally teased on Miyamoto's shirt for Mario Run, and then also later appeared in the Club Nintendo 2016 calendar. So, putting on the samurai outfit, you know it's really time for war. So, going on to the backside, yeah. Mario Run! When mobile games became a little bit more controversial. And that should they be free to play or free to start or whatever that... I don't like mobile games to begin with, so meh. Hello, sir. You want to get... Sorry, you want to get a look-see to what's going on inside. You gotta be dressed for battle, friend. That armor. You look like a samurai. We'll step right on in. Now it is time for probably my favorite or second favorite 8-bit location. Inside here. The screens unfold, heading on forward. So heading into the next area, the screen unfolds and refolds. It's really cool. They saved all the cool stuff for this kingdom. Indeed, they did. And then the 8-bit uh, section, while I don't really like the music as much as the regular theme, it's still pretty serviceable. So into the next screen. Quite literally, we have ourselves our challenge here. What we want to do is take out the, the uh, Koopa. There we go. Don't have to worry about the Koopa. So now we get ourselves a note challenge going on through here. Take things kind of slow. And then press down this little mushroom. And then head on to the top for the hidden moon of this area. In the folding screen. Yeah, a really cool area. And then lastly, we have ourselves another Koopa. We're gonna take... For the king of the Koopas. Now you got to press it down long enough for the Koopa shell to take effect. On. That's good. So let it deposit and claim your moon. Yeah! Scene of crossing the poison swamp. Yeah, it's a really cool 8 bit section and one of my favorites here. So heading on outside, we have ourselves some Jizos. And when we transform, we become Stone Tanookis, which is a common thing in Mario games, especially in like Mario 3 and in 3D land. So yeah, so anyways, line them up here. And hop across this uh, Zen Garden for a moon. A very, very cool moon. So yeah, so, so this region is very, um, I guess, um, reminiscent of, I guess, Eastern culture. Anyways, want to take this next Jizo to this room. For yet another one. Anyway, shake to move a little bit faster, and that's really it. Not really too much of the Jizos, but... Eh. It does what it needs to do. So now it's time to head to the Outer Keep. We're done inside Shop Island. Go to the next one we go. So located on this island. First course of action. 
I didn't. Ground pound, please. Yeah, another case of ground pound being not not too great because ground pound on the same same button as coins kind of sucks. So next up, we are going to take this uh, Jizo here for a secret. So once we are in Jizo form, highlights will appear on the ground. What you want to do is take this to the other side. Shake to go by a little bit faster. The reason why is because somewhere out here... Micro Goombas. I think it's here. It's somewhere. Yes, right here. A life crystal. I guess a life arc. This ain't Terraria. So that's really it there. There's not too much elsewhere here. Um. Oh yeah, there's that. Thank you, Ground Pound, for being on the same button as uh, Dive. There we go. So we're going to take this light pole to Stair Ogre Island. So here at Stair Ogre Island, all you got to do is take things out and also following the uh, Zen Garden thing. Hello there, Stair Ogre. So, ground down you. Yeah, you think we have quite a considerable amount of time to uh, get your uh, ground pound in. So, last set of Sarah Ogre. The Sarah Ogres, they will destroy those metal blocks. Important thing to remember. So we're done there. Let's go ahead and grab our moon. There we go. Yeah! So, we turn back to the island. Be sure not to disengage midway through. Yeah, so that's really a tier. There is nothing else here, so let's claim our checkpoint. And we have ourselves interesting statues here. So heading on to these statues. These are reminiscent of Japanese gods... Um... Raijin and Fujin, the Japanese gods of lightning and wind, respectively, in a using a Bowser's statue. Again, just really cool attention to details. And we have two boss looking arenas, so I got six hearts. Let's take the right one first. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey, the boss wasn't kidding when he said you. To be persistent. But I owe it to the family. To all the blah 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 brutals. To come at you with everything I got. <laughs> so we have Topper's rematch. And I will argue. Topper is actually one of the This is probably the hardest brutal battle. So once again you got. Oh I actually got the right one. So yeah so. You will hop on around. Trying to line things up. So yeah, so you can jump on him when he's spinning around. It saves a lot of time because, well, there's a lot of hats here. And it makes uh, Topper probably the hardest of the Brutals to, to beat. So, yeah, the fake one was pretty far away. So yeah, so letting him do his fall thing. There we go. And the first tower has been destroyed. Next up. <laughs> yep, the wedding's almost here. The blah boss is getting ready in the keep up ahead. But you two can scram, because you're definitely not invited. And now, we have ourselves the uh, Harriet refight. Harriet is a little bit more annoying in order to do the uh, quick cycles. You want to stay a little bit to the to the right of her for her to do her to do a little bit of a quick cycle skip. All right, we're gonna do the large ones. Oh yeah, also spraying things out instead of being connected. All right, pulling her to start things up and do the cycle skip. Alright, 
Got three direct. Good. So you want to stand a little bit straight, straight on ahead. Where are you starting up at? Right here. Perfect. Cycle skip. There we go. Pretty easy. Just let auto dump you do its auto hit do its thing. So yeah, so Harriet is definitely not that bad. I mean, a little harder than her first encounter, but Topper is definitely a lot harder. And now begins the assault on Bowser's Keep. We finally made it to the main courtyard. Indeed we have. So here at the main courtyard, grab the landmark and head over this way. Because there is a lot of stuff to do here. So probably dive, dive jumping is a lot faster. So, some purple coins along the wall here. So yeah, this is where a lot of the area is. And I'll be honest, I don't really like the main theme of the courtyard as much as the uh, outer wall theme. So following this along, grabbing some coins along the way, heading on to this little room, for some for another move. Found behind the bars. Okay, just trying to collect my thoughts because Bowser's Castle, especially the keep, is very dense when it comes to items. I guess not items, but more, um, what am I, what's the word I'm looking for? Again, word's hard for me. When it comes to, uh, moons, there we go. It's a very dense location. So, some more purple coins along the wall here. 51, doing pretty well. And I don't think there's anything else on the outer wall here. Actually, I think there might be. Yep, right down here, hidden. Out of sight, out of mind. So that's it there. So heading back to the main courtyard, we begin our assault up the castle. We have a long ways to go. So the first thing that we're going to do is actually not use the uh, Pokio. Instead, dive down here into the moat with some koi. Very cool details indeed. And right down here, a moon. Yeah. Corp. Yeah, so some really interesting koi here. And golden koi. So yeah, so this kingdom has a lot of fine details to it. So it gets a lot of uh, Japanese culture. Alright, then just poking that up. So, avoiding the uh, walls here. What we're going to do is hop along here. Hug this wall. And then butt mash Y. Dirty momentum. And Pokio trying to turn around walls is a bad thing. Why did you home on to that thing? Okay, Super Pokio. Super Cappy, sorry. Alright then, so doing things a little bit more intentional. Okay, I see how you are. Diving instead of into the moat, just jumping off into oblivion. Yeah, I'll be honest, I... This is getting too probably my, my main problem with Pokio. It just... It doesn't want to do everything you want it to do. Well, their controls are kind of simple. Pokio is just... Oh, you want to unpoke? Okay, let me disengage from the wall and let you plumb to your death. Yeah, I'll kind of like press Y and then you tend to uh, get very zealous. Hidden underneath the floor. I guess let's go ahead and head on in. Take a nice little shortcut to the top and avoid the bombs. All right then. 
Yeah, I'll take the damage boost. It's not like there's a checkpoint coming up anyways. So upon heading up further, we arrive at the outer wall. So upon heading up to the outer wall, heading up here, let the Stair Ogre um, do its thing. Here's Stair Ogre. There we go. Alright, I'll take it. See, so I still let the Sarah Ogre bash that open for another moon. Yeah! Inside a block in the castle. Alright, thought so. Some coins there. So, with the Sarah Ogre, well, I guess Sarah Ogre doing its thing, we can head up the outer wall or we could take a little bit of a detour. Don't mind me, I'm just detouring behind you, Mr. Stair Ogre. I do need to disengage from the uh, Pokio because right back here, Captain Toad. Not a very safe place for you, Captain Toad. I was walking along the rooftop so long I got lost. But I found this blood power moon, so it's not all that bad. Yeah. All right then. So. With that all done, there's some spikes along the wall. Alright, cool. Pokio's still there. So, heading on back out. Let the, uh, Stair Ogre do its thing. So now begins the ascent of the wall. So, we need to let the Pokio hang across the, uh, edge here. For some more coins. So yeah, so the thing I... So I guess going back to the whole, um... Pokio thing is that if you flick too hard, like if you want to go left and right, you sometimes just flick away. Because it just looks for for dead zones. So if you want to change your direction, it's not well advised. And that's kind of like the problem with Pokio is that Pokio is like, it's a cool gimmick but executed kind of meh. Especially when you're doing spins and then, because platforming with Pokios get pre gets pretty difficult later on. So, heading back here, up to 70 coins. Very nice. And heading up to the outer wall. Well, I guess further on into the inner wall. So yeah, so we are making pretty progress here. Just gotta climb a little bit further. Indeed we do. So here there's, okay, we're gonna go down. So there's two pathways to take here. First one is up here. Okay, let's avoid. Good. So continuing on the pathway up. I'm just gonna hop along this way because there's another pathway to take. Okay, we got poked. Thankfully there's another Pokio here. Or not. Please respond for me. Yeah, there's another pathway to take, I thought. That contained I guess they didn't contain purple coins. I swear there was another pathway up here that led to some more purple coins, but I guess not. So, okay, now I remember, because this is normally the pathway I take. So heading up here, and making our way to the top. I thought there was another pathway, but I guess not. So, we are really high up here. We're going to continue taking the Pokio and avoiding the pipe there. So here we are very close to the end. Heading up to the back here though. I want to take these spinies out. Because there's a little hole here. Very nice. Yeah! Poking your nose by the great gate. Indeed. So I'm going to be poking around here in these flames, because I think one of them has something in them. Oh, there's Cat Peach there. Well, I guess not. So yeah, so there is a little bit more to the kingdom, but we can't do much here right now. So, with that all done, 
Sorry, Pokio. The pathway to the top is getting closer. We're beneath the keep, and up there, Bowser awaits. Next time in Super Mario Odyssey, we confront Bowser. I will see you all then.